Okay, explain it to me one more time. Why do you think the moon landing was faked? We're both skeptics, right? So think about it skeptically. There's no way NASA had the technology to go to the moon. They just filmed it on a soundstage. That would have been way easier. Yeah, that's what conspiracy theorists think. But the truth is, faking the moon landing in 1969 actually would have been harder than just going to the moon in the first place. Here, I'll show you. Take moon landing, take one. All right, in this scene, you're on the moon and it's real and we're fooling America and action! See? Stanley Kubrick just shot a guy jumping around on set and then they played it back on TV. Sorry, but given the filmmaking and lighting technology at the time, that actually wouldn't have been possible. Right, the lighting. Look at how bright it is. Look at these shadows. This was clearly shot in a studio. Actually, Creating that lighting would have been essentially impossible in a studio. Melinda, meet Mark Shubin. He's a forensic motion picture analyst and an Emmy-winning life fellow of the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. Thanks, Adam. Using image forensics, I can tell you that the light source we see in the moon footage is actually parallel sun rays with no diffusion. If you look at the photos from the Apollo mission, you can see that all the shadows are parallel because the light source is 93 million miles away. But if you try to recreate that same photo using studio lighting, the shadows diverge. Huh. Back in the 60s, the only way to recreate that effect would be to build a wall of millions of laser lights so close together they'd be like pixels on a TV screen. No, 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 no. This lighting is all wrong. I need lasers, Peter, lasers. But lasers back then were big and costly, so rigging together that many at that size would have required an enormous apparatus that probably would have cost more than the entire Apollo project. Perfect! This is great. Now we just need millions of these lasers. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's in our budget or the countries. Honestly, Peter, you make me furious. And in those days, the only lasers that were practically available were red. Which means the color photos we have from the moon landing would have been impossible. I can't shoot in red light. It makes this moon look like a bordello. Correction, we need millions of ultra-rare multicolored lasers. How do I explain? I mean, that's not even a remote. How do I explain it's a remote hero? Go back to film school, Peter. Now, today, we could recreate the correct lighting with computer graphics. But in 1969, those didn't exist. Hmm. I've asked my colleagues in forensics and in movie production, and given the parallel light rays and the detailed color photos, we just cannot think of any way they could have faked the moon landing with the technology they had at the time. Hmm. Thanks, Mark. Convinced? Maybe that's what they want you to think. <sighs> What if NASA secretly created computer graphics and just kept it from us for 40 years? Well, then an astronomical number of people would have had to keep that secret. Like over 400,000 NASA employees. You want all 400,000 of us to keep our mouths shut? Yes, please. Good luck. We love gossip. Scientists from Australia, Spain, and England who said they independently picked up the moon landing transmission from space. And why would we lie for you? You're always making fun of our Vegemite. And the Russians, our space race rivals, who had every reason to prove us wrong. It's been 50 years, and we haven't even claimed that you faked it. You beat us fair and square this time, but we'll get you back in 2016. But where's the tangible proof that we went to the moon, huh? There isn't any. Actually, there is. While the astronauts were on the moon, they laid out a reflective material called retro reflectors. So today, when an observatory on Earth aims a high-powered laser at them, it bounces right back. <laughs> cut! Cut! Shut it down! This is impossible! Oh, no, 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 wait! It still could have been faked! Uh, all you'd have to do is secretly develop computer graphics technology decades ahead of its time, convince multiple governments to lie on our behalf, and then somehow get retro reflectors to the moon without actually going there. You could do that, right? Forget it, lady. It'd be easier to put a man on the moon.